What up, gang? It's your boy Zap back with another banger to test or not to test. That's not an option. We all know you have to test your genetics by all means necessary. You got to test your work before anybody else. But in some cases, some of us implement testers or other people to look at the genetics for us. Today, we go over some pros and some cons to using testers. Let's get right into it. Get it. Bow. Like, comment, share, subscribe, you yeah. yeah, you know it. Turn up the leaf blower in the long Discord. All right, so most of us already know my opinion on testers, right? Um, me personally, I don't use testers myself. Not saying that there may not be a time and a place where it may be useful. Uh, let's say in a sense where I'm considering using a new strain to work with, right? Never use the strain, only know the lineage and the, the parents and the background and the things like that, but I haven't actually grown it out. So it may be beneficial to have a couple of my buddies um, check it out for me before I, I, you know, I actually grow it and um, let me know if they see anything, any undesirables. I mean, that could be the only reason I would see purpose in, in using testers. Today we're going to go over um, some some pros and some cons into using testers and why me personally why i feel it's not necessary all right so let's get in a advantage number one it may be an advantage for some breeders um because it's a wider testing environment right um different climates for different people in different environments different humidities times on all these different things you know location you know that could be beneficial to some people you know getting that wider testing environment testers can grow in different climates different methods and conditions just giving you a, a broader feedback on how the genetics may perform number two um faster feedback you may get feedback a little bit faster than normal because um, getting feedback from multiple growers at once uh, just speeds up the evaluation process. So it's a little bit of an advantage there as well. Number three, marketing and hype, right? You, you are creating sort of a hype about it, sort of a, you know, a little bit of marketing game to it as well, right? Hey, this is what we got going on. This is what I'm about to drop. Check it out kind of thing, you know, create a little buzz, right? So, so that could be um, a, a benefit for some breeders as well, if that's the route you want to go. Now, let's look at some disadvantages or some reasons why I personally don't rely on testers or need to use them, right? Um, number one, unreliable data, right? We, we don't really want to rely on random growers or inexperienced breeders uh, when it comes to selection, right? We need to gain that experience on our own um hands-on and eyes-on selection takes a long time uh to to build up uh through through you know getting it done yourself so having other people do it or relying on other people to look at populations for you really won't benefit you um and in in, in many cases uh, you you could end up with a lot of unreliable data um, from unskilled people looking at your stuff quality control you relying on other people um to kind of give feedback on your work could be a bad thing if they don't give the if they don't speak on your work in the way that you would like. Say that the work was bad, right? It ended up that you um, gave out all of these testers, work that you should be 
getting your skills and hands-on, eyes-on experience with removing the undesirable traits, right? But let's say you did pass out a whole bunch of undesirable traits to all your testers. Um, that word will start to pass around, whether testers or not, right? You don't want that attached to you regardless. It's not necessary when um, it's just much more beneficial to you to be in the laboratory, getting it done yourself, learning, practicing, getting the experience that you need to actually be that experienced selector, right? The experienced breeder. An experienced breeder in most cases is going to feel necessary to test their own genetics. Um, once you learn all of these tools and you start to gather and build your toolbox and you, you know, you're not going to build up this awesome toolbox and learn how to use all these tools and then send somebody else to come do the job. You're going to be so excited to actually put the stuff that you learn to use, right? There's no room to send out my stuff for somebody else to do the work that I'm learning, the trade that I'm learning right now um, and, and building my own skills up. Uh, I don't, I don't, and then think about some of the um, tools since we speaking about tools, right? F1, what's some of the advantages? What's the most important thing that we think about in terms of F1? Heterosis, hybrid vigor. Or, 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 or treasure hunt, right? Imagine you just testing a, a brand new outcross out and you just possibly sending out the hybrid vigor to somebody. You lost it. You know, you lost it. They're going to grow. They're growers. They're just going to grow it out. It's going to be gone. They're not, they don't, they're not breeders that to do the work of preserving that and locking it down and isolating it, right? That's a, that's a, 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 a imperative to your inbred line. But now, you just gave it away for somebody to grow out as a tester. You wanna maintain quality and ensure your work is up to your standards and the best way to do it is by doing it yourself, man. Um, and we can't stress that enough. My work goes through some of the most grueling, right? Strenuous. So um, I go beyond just testing, right? We go through training camp and um, only the strong survive in my tents. So. Um, so you know about the graveyard you go back to some of those old older videos man what um, I got videos of showing you the importance of testing and actually my selection process and documentation process so go look at those videos and you'll see um, the graveyard we mentioned the graveyard and how um, that is that first initial stage of looking for athleticism and vigor and strength and performance you know who can hold up and who's gonna die in here because most of most don't hold up. So um, don't be worried about planting 100 seeds, 50 seeds. You got room. <laughs> don't worry. You got room. But um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to require you to cull out the weak. And in some cases, you may be dealing with some strong genetics. Dead Ops OG. Right? You may be dealing with some strong genetics. Um, and a strong foundation, you may not have any undesirables. In that case, you really want to have a good eye for selection. But that's when the fun starts, right? You're just looking for um, things to make it you, make it all about you. So have fun with it, man. Um, but do the work of testing, man. If you want to start your stress, performance, and strength testing early, we're going to start in the paper towel. That's when the culling starts. We start to um, select right then and there. Only the most athletic, vigorous tap roots get selected in that very beginning stages. And we initially, immediately jump right into um, performance, strength, and stress testing. So um, if you, we're going to get into those videos and the upcoming videos moving forward of those early. Because everybody right now, you got your Dead Ops OG, you got your Dead Man's Gelato, I see you. Um, I see that everybody's starting to pop, germinate. So everybody's kind of, a, a lot of people are on the same, um, you know, frequency. So we're gonna uh, pr produce the videos accordingly so that we can all kind of select together, man. So um, I'm excited for the next couple videos in the near future. Let me know uh, what you got going on, what's in your garden. Much love, 
make sure you visit acinfinity.com. Use code TEAMZAZA for a check out our discount. If you need a good foundation gear to start with, some good foundation gear to start with, ZazaGenetics.com. It's a permanent sale going on, so uh, make sure you take advantage. The sale is hot. Dead Ops OG, Dead Man's Gelato, Hades Throne, all available. Permanent sale. Take advantage. Much love, gang. See y'all soon. I'm out of here.